this is Rob Swatsky from the York campus of Harrisburg Area Community College, and in this podcast we're continuing our review of the muscles of the lower extremity. Our next muscle is the piriformis. The piriformis originates on the sacrum and inserts onto the greater trochanter of the femur. The name piriformis means pear shape, and that's a good way to remember this muscle amongst the other muscles in this region because of this unique shape, this broader, rounder, and wider origin belly is in contrast to the more slender insertion belly. Its actions include abducting the thigh and laterally rotating the thigh at the hip joint. And this action is the same as the other three muscles featured in this podcast. They are all lateral rotators of the thigh at the hip joint. And they're all located deep to the gluteus maximus. And in addition, their insertion point on the greater trochanter is also the same. The piriformis is located near the sciatic notches on the coxal bone. And in fact, the sciatic nerve passes underneath. And because of its location, when the piriformis tightens, this can trigger some symptoms of sciatica. Our next muscle is the superior gemellus, and this is a thin belt-like muscle that is a twin to the inferior gemellus. The name gemellus means twin after the word Gemini, so this is a good way to remember this twin pair of muscles. The actions of the superior gemellus are the same as the other muscles in this set, thigh abduction and lateral rotation of the thigh at the hip joint. It also has the same insertion point on the greater trochanter of the femur, but it has a different origin point. It originates on the ischial spine of the coxal bone. Our next muscle is the obturator internus, located just underneath the superior gemellus. The prefix ob means in front of, and that's just where this muscle is located, in front of the obturator foramen of the pelvis. This muscle originates along the margins of the obturator foramen, as well as the inner surface of the pubis and ischium. Its actions of thigh abduction and lateral rotation are the same as the other muscles in this set. One way to remember the obturator internus is by the shape of the obturator foramen, which resembles the letter O. You can also remember its position internus in between the two gemellus muscles, the superior and our next muscle, the gemellus inferior, located just below the obturator internus. The inferior gemellus is a twin of the superior gemellus. It has the same shape, it's a thin strap-like muscle, and it has the same actions as the superior gemellus and the other muscles in this set. It has the same insertion on the greater trochanter of the femur. The main difference is its origin. It originates from the ischial tuberosity, which is the rough region located on the ischium of the coxal bone, the posterior seat bone. 